Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm the founder and creator of WaxDAO. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own NFT farm using WaxDAO. Before I jump into the whole process, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys who has supported the project so far. Uh, it's been amazing just to see the response from the Wax community. I just started this project like two weeks ago. And within the last 24 hours, there's been like six farms that have popped up on WaxDAO. There's over 100 wallets that are staking NFTs in these farms, and people are just buzzing about this and going crazy, so it's really good to see. I've been trying to build a project for like the last two years now, and just failing miserably over and over again. So to see something that I'm building finally being appreciated by people and actually helping them, I can't even put into words how great that feels. So thank you to each and every one of you guys, and... Enough of that nonsense, let's jump into the process. So if you want to create your own NFT farm on WaxDAO, you just go to WaxDAO.io, and then on the left-hand side of the page, you will see this sidebar, and there's an option to create farm. So just click on that, and you will see this form right here, where you're going to fill out the information for your farm. So the first field is the farm name. This is going to have the same requirements as any EOS or WAX username. A lot of people have been having trouble with this, so I just wanted to make this clear. This can be at max 12 characters, and you can only use lowercase letters A to Z and numbers one through five. It tells you that if you hover over it, but I just wanted to make that clear anyway. So my new NFT farm, all lowercase, that would be a valid name, but you can't put capital letters, you can't put numbers six through nine or zero and yeah that's that so then you have the farm logo this is going to be an ipfs image so you're just going to paste the ipfs hash here it's not a link just the ipfs hash pretty self-explanatory then you have the farm type so as of right now we offer two farm types and those would be for people to be able to stake an entire schema of nfts or if you want to filter it down you can add specific templates. Instead of allowing them to stick a whole schema, you can select up to 10 templates from that particular schema. You cannot select from different schemas here, but we do plan to add more features in the future. I would like to add a collection wide option so that it doesn't have to be only a schema or only a set of templates. If you want to allow people to stake an entire collection, I would like to add that option as well. So you can expect that to come in the next week or two, probably. If you want to add some template IDs after you select specific templates, you would just type each template ID here and separate them by a comma. So if your template ID was 444444, and then you had another template ID, you just put a comma, and then 555555, and so on and so forth, up to a maximum of 10. For those of you wondering why there's this limit, it's because it costs RAM to store information on the Wax blockchain. It's not free. WaxDAO covers this. Out of the fee that we take for creating this farm, we don't actually charge people to add information to this farm. So since we're covering it and since we're only charging a pretty small amount of money, there's not really that much leeway in order for us to allow you to store unlimited data in the database. So that's where the limit comes from. Uh, you have your collection here. You're going to select whatever collection that your NFTs are in and the schema. Now, if you select specific templates here, you still have to put the schema. They still have to be within the same schema. So adding specific templates doesn't remove any requirements. It just basically filters it down even further. All right, then you have the reward token details here. So people are going to stake NFTs and then they're going to earn some rewards. And just to make it clear, WaxDAO does not reward people for sticking your NFTs. This is on you. So creating a farm does not automatically give people rewards. You create a farm, and once you create it, there are zero rewards in the farm. Nobody's going to earn anything. You have to add rewards to the reward pool in order for people to earn some rewards, right? WaxDAO is not rewarding people for sticking your stuff. We're just providing a service for you. We're providing a tool where you can reward people if you want to, right? You still have to cover that on your own. I'll show you how to add rewards in a second. But anyway, 
First, you have to add the token symbol of the rewards token that you want to give to people. So let's say you wanted to give them wax. You would just type wax in this field. This needs to be a valid token symbol. If you type something wrong here with any of these token details or anything at all in the farm, for that matter, your farm is not going to work and we're not going to be able to help you. So make sure you double check everything because if you make any mistakes with any of this stuff, the farm's not going to work right. So you have the token symbol that's wax in this case, in this example. Keep in mind, you can only reward people with one token per farm. So if you want to reward people with multiple tokens, you'll have to create different farms for each one. And also keep in mind that you cannot change any of the reward token details after you create the farm. So if you say here, when you fill out the form, that you want to reward people with wax, well, you have to reward people with only wax. So you're not going to be able to just change that later and reward them with a different token. All that's going to happen is either A, the farm is not going to accept the deposit in the first place, or if you somehow find a way to get around that, they're not going to get the rewards anyway. So make sure you reward with the token that you select in the farm here. Token contract is the same thing. You have to make sure this is the one you want to reward people with. The wax token contract, for example, would be EASIO.token. So if you were rewarding people with wax, you would put EASIO.token in this field. Then you have the decimal places. This is also a requirement that it has to be correct. Wax token, for example, has eight decimal places. So you would put eight here if you were giving people wax. If you have your own token and it has a different amount of decimal places, you would put a different number here. Make sure you get this right, because if you get this wrong, the farm is not going to work. If you don't know how to find the decimal places or you're confused about any of this stuff, join the Telegram for Waxdale. There's a link in the FAQ here. Scroll down to the bottom, there's a link to the Telegram. So if you have any questions, just join, and I'll be happy to help you out, or someone else will. Anyway, back to the Create Farm page. After you fill out the decimals, you're going to select a minimum staking period here. This is going to be a number of days that you want people to stake the NFT for. So this is basically a lockup period. If someone stakes in your farm, they're not going to be able to withdraw their NFTs from that farm until this period is up. The minimum you can put here is one. You can't go any lower than one, but you can go as high as you want. So if you want to lock people's NFTs up for a thousand days, put a thousand here. It's up to you. We're not here to tell you what to do, but just put the number of days. So if you wanted it to be 10, you put 10 there and then you have the expiration date. So you can click this and select the date from this calendar when you want the farm to expire. The way this is going to work is that when you deposit rewards to your farm, so when you create a reward pool, let's say for example that you put 1000 wax in that pool. Well, the farm rewards people every hour. Every hour people can claim rewards. So if you put a thousand wax in the pool and you say you want this farm to expire, I don't even know what date it is, but let's say tomorrow. If you want the farm to expire tomorrow, what's going to happen is that thousand wax that you put in, it's going to be divided up among the next 24 hours and given out as rewards over the next 24 hours. So people are going to get a larger amount of wax per hour and your farm will end up with zero wax left when it expires. Now, if you put that you wanted this farm to expire, let's say two years from now at some point, 2024, well, what's gonna happen is that thousand wax you put in, it's going to be evenly split up amongst all the amount of hours between now and two years from now. So it'll be the same thousand wax that you put in the pool, but each hour, people are going to get a very, very small diluted amount of wax because you chose to stretch out the staking time for two years. Once this farm expires, you will have to create another pool if you want to. That's the way that it's set up right now. However, I plan on adding a feature real soon where people can extend their pool. So let's say you wanted your pool to run for two months and then it ends or it's about to end, I should say. You'll have an option where you can pay a, a very small amount of wax. I think like 10 wax is probably what I'll do. And you'll be able to extend your pool again. So you can just keep the same pool running over and over. And the rewards won't be as diluted that way because you set the farm to expire sooner instead of a long time from now.
if that makes sense. And then lastly, you have the payment method. So there are three different options here. You can either pay a flat fee of 250 wax, 25,000 Wojak tokens, which is the native token of WaxDAO's NFT project. The prices of these are going to fluctuate, so you should check the market to see what's the cheapest option at any given moment. And then lastly, you have the option to burn one Wojak NFT if you want. Those are currently 109 wax directly from the drop, so you save about 60% versus paying the 250 wax. And if you click that option, some more information will pop up here. It'll ask you the asset ID of your Wojak that you want to burn. If you have any Wojaks in your wallet, they will show up right here where this little thing is here. And the asset ID will be right at the top of it. So all you would need to do is just click the asset ID from the Wojak in your wallet, copy it, and then just paste it right here into this field that says asset ID to burn. And then click create farm and your farm will be created. If you don't have a Wojak yet and you want to get one, there's an option right here on the page too. All you would have to do is just enter how many you want to buy. Click the buy now button and then you have a Wojak to burn and you save like 60% on the fees. Anyway, once your farm is created, you can go to this my farms page here on the left side and you will see your farms pop up. And right here under this deposit section, deposit field, you have the option to add rewards to your reward pool. So this is how you would add your rewards. So whatever token that you selected when you created the farm, let's say you selected wax, like I said, just enter the amount you want to add. So let's say 100 or 1,000. Now, here's the important part here. I plan on fixing this later, but as of right now, when you watch this video, you have to make sure you enter the correct decimal places that you entered when you created the farm. So if you selected a token that has eight decimal places, you have to make sure you type a 1,000 point and then add the eight decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you don't put that, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to give you a failed transaction when you try to send the transaction. So just make sure you have the correct amount of decimal places here and you'll be fine. And then you just click the add to pool button. So it's going to open up a transaction here and ask you to approve it. And then you just click approve and you will get a notification that your tokens have been added if you did it properly. I should also mention that I'm logged in with the Wax Cloud wallet here, but you don't have to use Wax Cloud. If you log out, you'll see there's an option to log in with Anchor as well. So you can do this with Anchor Wallet. And I think that pretty much covers everything. I'll have some more tutorials coming out soon for the token generator, for example. Uh, we have a create your own wax token thing here. It has the same exact prices as the farms. Also staking pools, which again has the same exact prices. And it works basically the same way as a farm, except the difference here is that Instead of people staking NFTs to earn a token, they stake tokens to earn a token. So basically, anybody can come to WaxDAO. They can create their own token on Wax. Then they can create a staking pool for that token and reward people for staking it. And if they want, they can also create an NFT farm. We have more products coming out soon. We'll also have a create your own DAO thing and some other stuff that I don't really want to mention yet. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, join the WaxDAO Telegram. There's a link in the FAQ here on WaxDAO at the bottom. See you guys next time. Goodbye.